This is not financial advice. It's not legal advice. It's for entertainment and educational purposes only. And everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get my videos and I put them out. And like I tell y'all every day, the numbers that they put out, I don't agree with them. I think the market's a lot worse than they let us know in those numbers. But I believe, and this is just my opinion, that they are using the counterfeit shares to create liquidity. And I'm going to explain it to you and, and, and just hear me out and then, and then think about it. Think about what I'm saying and then you make your own determination. But it is the thing. We all know that they create liquidity with the call options, especially when they weigh out the money. Because they have a way of, you know, making them go in the money and then by Friday... They knock them back down. So they they just collect all that cash. So that's creating liquidity for them and giving them an opportunity to stay afloat. But they are also creating liquidity with the counterfeit shares. Because think about this. They're just making the shares. They're not paying for them. The market makers are just printing out the shares and electronically wiring them all over the world. Not even all over the country, all over the world. So, as far as I'm concerned, this is like international wire fraud because they know these shares don't exist. They know these shares don't exist, and they just keep sending them. You place an order with Robinhood, Webull, Schwab, Fidelity, Moomoo, um, you know, whatever, whatever broker you're using, whatever app you're using, you put in an order, and they just fill it, even though those shares do not exist. Even though nobody paid for well, we paid for the shares. The retail investor paid for the shares. The pension fund paid for the shares. But the one who gave you the shares, the one who issued the shares to you, didn't pay a cent for them. They didn't pay a cent for them. And, and, and the evidence is in the filings by these institutions. You had Citadel file. They had $65 billion dollars. And shares that were sold, not already bought. So they got a $65 billion windfall. Okay? And that's what they're doing every day. They're creating liquidity by selling the shares that they never paid for. They never paid for the shares. The market makers are making the shares in a computer program. And then they just, when you order them, they just fill it. I mean, what did the virtual CEO say? Well, if we had an order for a thousand shares and there were only 200 left, we would just fill the order because we have infinite liquidity. So if the shares never existed, but you paid for the extra 800 shares, they get to keep that money. They get to keep that money. And that's why the failure to deliver is so high. So they're sitting on a war chest from shares sold but that were never bought. And if they're reporting $65 billion worth of shares sold and never bought, you know it's a whole lot higher, okay? Because you can't trust their numbers. They're gonna release the numbers that puts them in the best light possible given the current situation. So if they're reporting 65 billion in shares sold but never bought, you know it's a lot higher. And I believe that is another way that they create liquidity is by continuing to sell shares that they never bought. They go on the computer, they they fabricate them, they put the magician, you know, I like to talk about the magician because he's in there conjuring up shares. Wow. You get a thousand shares, you get a thousand shares. And he just conjures them up. And then we're paying cash for it because the money comes right out of our account. The pension funds are paying cash for it. The money comes right out of their account. And these guys are just sitting on the money, hoping that we sell and they can make the shares disappear. But because retail investors are not selling, because the pension funds have been holding on to their shares, that's why they are in this precarious position. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. And please let me know what you think about them selling fake shares in the market 
and then wiring it to us, which I believe is international wire fraud. I believe that violates a lot of, you know, U.S. and international statutes. But let me know what you think about them creating liquidity by selling shares that they never bought, that they never really owned. Okay, have a great day. God bless. I appreciate y'all on this journey with me. Have a great day.